see more from him? It, just a more um, a growing sort of refined player in open court. Like because of his athleticism, because he gets so many hands on balls, he, he's going to be out either with the ball leading a break or possibly running a lane and receiving a kick ahead. And now what? And, and I think that the, the growth from an efficiency standpoint of reading odd numbered breaks, four and three, three and two, and capitalizing on that sort of breakaway speed that he has uh, is part of his growth as a young player. Um, and I still, you know, really want him finding the rim and, and, and feeling confident to uh, shoot open threes anytime he wants. I feel like you guys have had a lot of turnovers on, on fast breaks. Um, you know, what, what is that? Is that, I mean, I feel like you'd want to get the ball to Ben in that situation when it's possible, but sometimes other people are kind of ahead of him. And yeah, and, and it, it goes like this. We have... We have many capable dribble out guys. So Tobias can get a rebound and he can dribble out. Al Horford can get a rebound and he can dribble out. Um, my guards, Jay Rich, can get a rebound and he can dribble out. And so from that standpoint, I don't want him like rebounding and then trying to find Ben. Like Ben's gonna run a lane. And they're capable, they're really good actually. And so it gets back to an area that is in a sort of uh, inverted way a, 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 a good thing in that I think we can fix this part of our problem scoring and turnover area maybe as easy as any of the areas. And so it's just, it's the judgment, it's how we run around our guys, it's the understanding that, that we don't have to make stuff up, it's not hard. You dribble until somebody defends you. If there's somebody ahead of you, they get it. And it's kind of that simple. Then here comes Joe, and here comes Al, and so on. But uh, it is true, we have not been that good in that area. And it has been a turnover-prone area. And I think that it's going to be uh, not easy, but it will be uh, most possible to fix it quick, most quickly, I think. Right outside of Trey Young, what stands out to you about this young team? Big bounce. You know, confident. Um, I think Lloyd's done a really good job with them. He, he's obviously the 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 focal point of what they do, uh, and and he should be. Like he's that elusive. He's that good. And uh, you know, when you go around the league and you defend these elite players, um, and you try to game plan, and you're always in a position where you're trying to say, well, who is he? Like, who does he remind you of? And different names come to your mind. But I think, like, they as a team have done uh, a great job uh, with the first two games. We've studied them. And Trey sure has uh, been excellent uh, leading the team the first two games. you see any similarities between what you did when you started coaching here and what he's been able to kind of do in this first year? I, I think so. I think... Uh, you know, the life that Lloyd and I lived for three years with lots of guys that aren't playing in the NBA anymore, um, I hope some of those things, you know, he can call upon to help him. I think the talent that he's got growing in Trey Young, you know, is, 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 is a head start that he's capitalized on. Lloyd's, Lloyd's done a hell of a job. And um, I think that those dark days that he and I sort of navigated, I, I appreciate him. I'm proud of him. We, we follow him all the time. And um, I would suspect there's some of those lessons we all learned early that, um, that Lloyd can call upon. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Thanks, sir.